Hey guys, what is going on? In this video, I'm going to share with you a solution if you are having an issue uh, retrieving credential from Orchestrator. Maybe you are receiving a pop-up error message or you are getting the uh, window credential pop-up asking for you to manually type in username and password so we would like to get rid of that and we need to have a successful connection with orchestrator so that you could retrieve the username and password that you created in your asset so first before we go into the solution let's just have a review on what are the steps that you need to make sure are working first before we, we get into that solution. So the first thing is that make sure that your orchestrator or UI robot orchestrator setting is connected. So you can see that by uh, when you have the UI robot open, just right click, go to orchestrator setting. And when you go there, you can see that there is a status in here. And if you see that it's connected, uh, comma license, meaning uh, you were able to connect your uh, UI robot to orchestrator. So that's the first step. And the next thing is that when you created an RE framework template, by default, the the get app credential workflow is no longer included, which is uh, different from from the old versions. I don't know why UiPath did remove that workflow, but uh, what I'm doing in situation like that is I'll, I just go to my previous project like this one the generate yearly report which is one of the advanced exercise I go to the framework folder and just copy the same workflow if you don't have a previous project available there are there are I think link when you search in Google there are available a uh, site where you can download that workflow so once you uh, copy that if you have a previous project and once you copy that uh, go to your project folder and inside the framework paste the workflow that we just copied so now we have get that credential let's close this one now let's hit refresh now we have the get up credential workflow that's the second step copy a get up credential workflow from a previous project or download it from from github i think that's available and when you added that workflow another the third step that you need to do is to install the dependency of that workflow so you go ahead to this uh button click this manage packages and then go to all packages sorry now search for uipath that credential once you see that click it and just install it okay because without you installing that package you will not be able to use the get up credential workflow or i think even the get credential activity so let's just wait for it to be installed if you forgot to install that you will receive an error and it's not that pretty kind of straight to tell you that you need to install the package yet for you to use that workflows or workflow okay so once you use that i mean once you install that package you will see that on your dependencies it's already included so it sh we should be good to go now Let's try to create a simple workflow that will uh, only retrieve the, the username and password. Then we put those uh, information to a message box to verify if it was successfully retrieved from orchestrator. So we will start with the sequence. I created a sample sequence named system1 underscore login. And now let's invoke the get up credential. So uh, here it has three arguments, two in, um, and, I mean two out and one in. So before we go there, let's create a sample asset first. So I'm in my own, I'm on my orchestrator now. I'm creating a sample asset. Okay, let's uh, just give it some time. Okay, now let's name this asset Acme, Acme Cred for now. It should be a credential type. Then, so that's my email. 
email let's just say pass one two three it's just a sample now let's create it okay now it's created so let's go back to studio now let's supply this in argument with the name of the asset we just created and then let's create a, a variable for the username and password so once you're done with that you can see that we have now the two variable available in our variable tab so the next thing is we want to message box those username and password I mean we want to show them by using a message box activity so let's go to the text let's add some label actually uh, guys this is important because sometimes Sometimes you thought you, you have a problem by tripping, but uh, sometimes it's successful, but you, you're not sure if it's retrieving the correct username or password. So by doing this, you will be able to verify if the uh, information retrieved from orchestrator is uh, correct. Okay, I'm creating a new variable named password text because uh, if you want to show the username and password you will not be able to do that with password variable because if you will notice the variable type of this variable is secure string and you cannot just simply message box the type of variable so in order for you to see what's inside that variable you need to create another string variable i name it a password text and then before the message box let's have an assign activity we have to uh, convert that uh, secure string variable into a simple string okay I don't memorize that formula but you can simply uh, get that from Google converting secure string to string well your platform is very helpful when you're having you know some trouble and problem with your project so here I found the formula on how I can convert secure string into uh, a simple string a basic string so here when you paste that to the value you just need to replace this this uh, variable with uh, your secure string variable which on my project is password and hit OK. Now make sure to save it before you run it. Once everything is complete, you can now use run file to test the sequence. And what's that? Okay, so uh, this is most of the uh, well this is what will you will encounter if you had an issue you know connecting with orchestrator and retrieving asset so you will be asked to just manually type in username and password and we want to get rid of this because it means that your getup credential did not work so let's cancel that you can see that on the error message credential was not supplied okay so so based on my research the issue that causing the problem is some uh, version incompatibility something like that so in order to fix an issue like that you need to go ahead with your project panel here you can see that we have a dependency name uipath.system activities 20.8.0 so this solution will work if you are using the latest version of UiPath because right now me I'm using the latest beta version that they have the 2020.8.0 that's why when I'm creating new REPAMWORK template the dependency are automatically uh, 
in 20.8.0 version as well. And I think the GetUp credential workflow when that was created, it was uh, only working with the previous version. So we need to downgrade this uh, UiPath system activity version. To do that, you need to go to manage packages and then activate that UiPath system that activities. And here you can see the current installed version. And here are the available version that you can use. So what we're going to do is to use this 20.4.0. So you just need to hit this update button and click the save button here. So it will uh, downgrade the version of this system that activities dependency. So once you updated that successfully, you will notice here that the version has been updated. Okay, now let's test our code again. Let's see if it will now be able to retrieve the username and password that we have in our asset. So hit run file. Okay, now you can see that there we have a message box in here. The username is uh, the my email address that I type, and the password is pass one two three. So it is successful now, and I only encountered this issue on the recent update. So I hope if you are encountering that same issue, this uh, what I did will be able to help you, so you could proceed. Maybe when you are working with advanced exercises on UiPath Academy, you will be able to proceed with the next steps. Or if you're working with your personal project and you need to retrieve information from orchestrator, especially credential, I hope you will be able to apply it. But if you're still having any kind of issue, you are free to email me on my email address. I will put that on the description link below. Just send me any inquiry if you have or any issue that you encounter. Maybe I could help you. Okay, I think that's all that I can share for now. If you, again, if you have any question, feel free to comment on this uh, video. That's all for now. See you again on the next one. Goodbye.